Welcome again to another edition of Coffee Break with Friends at the Dakota Prairie Museum. Today our guest is Jay Kirshenman. He is a reporter for the Aberdeen American News. He has a column called It's About Time that explores local history, a lot of buildings, a lot of Aberdeen landmarks. Jay, thanks for being here today. Thanks. It's fun to come to the museum. Thank you. Um, one of your favorite topics was the underground tunnels in Aberdeen. Tell me a little bit more about that. Okay. Well, once the, the column started appearing, uh, people would come up to me and say, you got to do one on the tunnels. And I was like, what tunnels? <laughs> <clears throat> was that a rumor or was that a real thing? So it was fun to explore that and figure out if that was true. And it is true, but not in the sense that some people might think. So what is the misconception about the tunnels in Aberdeen? Well, they don't uh, cross under the streets and go uh, between buildings so much as when they were building these in the 1900s, uh, the, the lower level, the basement, if you will, uh, they wanted to use that space in a commercial main street and side streets. So there were lots of uh, iron stairways that went down to lower level. If you look at your old, this building, in particular, you'll see uh, storefronts and uh, stairways leading to the basement level. Uh, and <clears throat> that's where a lot of these tunnels came from. It runs along the outside of the foundation and you could actually walk between a few of the storefronts. <clears throat> so it's uh, more of a, a commercial convenience than a secret tunnel to get between buildings and things. It was parallel to the foundation. What were some of the disadvantages of having outside entrances to your basement? Well, they, uh, people had to go down the stairs, <laughs> but it did create a lot of light. You'll see in some of the old pictures of various buildings that they had big picture windows and then steel grates above them. So they would have a lot of natural light in these basement uh, commercial spaces. Um, there was another use for these too. They actually had a law of fire codes back in 1905 and it lasted all the way to 1945 that they had coal running furnaces. And if something would happen, and ground floor was ablaze, you could get out. So there was that uh, uh, ulterior motive for a lot of these for, as an escape route. Uh, people in the basement could get out of lower level doors and windows, get to the passageway. And then, uh, I don't know if you noticed, there's still some around town iron grates in the sidewalks. And where there weren't stairs, the fire department could pull that off and put a ladder down and get people out of there. So now we don't see these outside entrances, maybe one or two. Why did they go away? Well, as they uh, fixed up streets and sidewalks, uh, just recently they did a side street and, and as they pulled away the dirt and got under the sidewalk, they saw that this was pretty rickety. Uh, even though you couldn't maybe get to it from inside or outside the building, it was still there. And I think it was right in Sudlow, uh, the American News did a story and they showed these uh, like garden hose size metal rods that were actually holding up the sidewalk for a whole block. And about half of them were <laughs> rusted away and falling apart and it was not safe anymore. So uh, safety, age, deterioration, and, uh, and we don't have those lower level uh, storefronts anymore like they did back then anyway. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot of my information from Don Daly. It's the late Don Daly. He was a local historian and an Aberdeen police officer and a former Brown County Sheriff, but he was also a fire inspector. Uh, his dad was actually. So when this Don Daly, the, the county sheriff and police officer, he'd go along with his dad as a kid and look at these old buildings and, and actually saw uh, problems that were starting with deterioration even in the 40s and 50s. Yeah. So have you been to your, this is your, your own building here has some, right? Yes. The Dakota Prairie Museum building actually being built in 1889 did have those exterior entrances. Uh, the advantage of being kitty corner from the depot was that many businesses would bring in their goods on the train. And then since the Dakota Prairie Museum building, which was originally the Northwest Bank building and then later the Western Union building, would bring their product over here and store it in the basement. And so there was a constant traffic in and out of the basement. So I can see where having those exterior entrances to those storerooms would be of advantage. And of course, in the beginning, the building used a furnace that required coal. So there were coal chutes also that came into our building. 
and all of those now have been closed up, uh, cement blocked in for safety reasons. Yeah. So is yours still passable in some places uh, on the exterior of this building, or are those all closed up now? There are no exterior um, <coughs> basement lower level entrances to this building. Ah. So which buildings in town still have an exterior entrance? Well, the ward, we understood, I, I forget what year that was when they were remodeling. They were going to, they said they were going to uh, revamp it and bring it back. But then the, the building changed hands and things, so I'm not sure. Let's see, that was 2004. I found an American news story that told about the stretches of sidewalk that were removed and uh, things were uh, uh, revamped and they hope to restore some of them. So we'll have to get back with those folks and see. You know, this all came to mind when I was a little kid walking down Main Street and you'd walk over those grates. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what I thought they were. But you, when I peeked down in there, you could see windows to the basement. So this was all part of that uh, lower level commercial plan a lot of these old buildings had. Well, and at that time, downtown Aberdeen, a lot of businesses, a lot of retail businesses, vibrant. Um, I know when I was younger, I remember doing all my Christmas shopping downtown, yeah. walking from store to store. Now we're seeing a change in retail, and that your retail is coming back to your downtown. Do you see a resurgence of that? Well, we, we always hope so. You know, the Red Rooster, when they had to move, they uh, got going down just a few storefronts down. And uh, the old uh, bank building, where it used to be Stewart's, is now a shop that's been there quite a while. Mm -hmm. It's really turned out nicely. And you yeah. can still see the historic look inside, but it's a open daily commercial adventure. So we're hoping that more of that will happen. And when the Melchow Plaza is complete, oh, I yeah. think we'll see another resurgence of activity in downtown Aberdeen, and that will be fun to see. Yeah. Well, you can dig in the clips and go all the way back to the 1900s, and it's fun to read about what the businesses were. Uh, I found a 1916 story talking about the stairways going down to barber shops and restaurants mm -hmm. and a shoe shine shop, and a, a grocery store was there. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, they're, they're mostly above ground these days, but <laughs> I guess that was a, something they tried in the early 1900s, and, and it was thriving back then. See, yeah. you've got a copy of the story here, and uh, you can show folks what one of those passages looks like uh, a little bit clearer. Of course, that's aged and uh, has uh, become filled in, but uh, it's, uh, that is the word hotel, so you can get an idea of maybe what they were trying to do there. Do you recognize those folks? Uh, Norb Sanderson? Yes. On the left, Blackstone Developers, and George Smith, the yep. uh, Business Improvement District uh, person of the day back then. That's a 2004 photo, so we're, we've come away since then. So. Well, thank you, Jay, for coming today to you share bet. the story about the tunnels in Aberdeen. Yeah. And just to dispel a few of those myths, they, they did not go across the street and they did not go from block to block, but they were a convenience that were, was used in the early part of Aberdeen's history. And um, you can still see a little bit of the, that evidence of early retail history in Aberdeen. Yeah. Thanks for sharing today. Thanks for bringing me over. Nice break in the day. Thank you.